Hey guys, I've got some Barbatos gameplay for you guys from the live stream. We're going to go over it, talk about how to play the character, how to get maximum value on a character that's quite difficult to play, um, and how it differs from the other close range characters. So let's just go right here and do it. So basically, to start it off, um, quick overview. Barbatos has two slamming abilities that both do. Um, the one that's on his right click does 650 damage, the other one does 700 damage, and they both stun. It has a jump ability and um, a regular regular swing. The abilities are hard to hit. They are a little bit clunky in animation, but they deal a lot of damage. Um, so they're very powerful if used properly. However, what you got to keep in mind with them is that they do not do not bode well if you if the enemy knows where you are. They're very easy to dodge in a lot of them. The hardest one to hit, sorry, the easiest one to hit would be the right click ability because you can use your dashes to space it out properly. But otherwise, it's still difficult. Um, the jump into slam combo is going to be pretty easy to be caught out on if they know where you are. So Barbatos, a lot of it is playing, hitting your cooldowns correctly with your right click um, with with horizontal movement or to effectively sneak and um, sneak and not let them know where you are so that you can hit your higher damage combos. Because what happens a lot of times is just chasing around with your regular melee damage, which deals 300 damage per hit and knockbacks, it just ends up being pretty like rough. You're trying to figure out their floundering. The right click you charge up so you can determine how much damage it does. Um, but this is the kind of thing with you can do with, with Barbatos here that's very powerful. And it's why it's good playing from a high ground because it means you don't have to use some of your engagement tools to get in there. But here you have an engagement that probably could have been, you know, the F slam to make sure you do more damage. And you dash and then you jump out. The jump is very quick. It's strong, it's good, um, and that, that's all uh, excellent. This poor Turn A Gundam has run into the Barbatos in a section where it doesn't want to be. Um, it looks like he saw the, the Turn A Gundam down there and decided to go punish it. Hopefully he knew there's a health back here and hopefully he's just not just getting lucky, but um, misses this cooldown. But it, it's good macro, sorry, micro gameplay here to see the, the movement capabilities being used properly. <clears throat> this character is a lot like Doomfist. From Overwatch, only close range damage, quick, strong combos. You got to make sure you're getting them and you don't want the enemy to know where you are. If the enemy knows where you are, not only are they easy to dodge your stuff, but it's also easy to poke you out before you get to them so that you're just going to die or have to just back out. But this is excellent. And then right as he misses it, he dashes away so that he's unpredictable, having a hard time being hit. And this is perfectly spaced. <clears throat> it looks like the F ability does a little bit of a jump with it. Um, he like... He sprinted a little bit to get the right distance and then the jump ability extends you so you can jump around corners with it. Really nice, really clean gameplay right there. However, this is a little bit more questionable. And by a little bit, I mean like mm, it's all amount questionable. You don't want to engage from the front. You don't have, you know, it's not even like Exia that could charge a punch and then hit it around a corner to somebody. You have to expose yourself a lot <clears throat> and there's a lot of time spent in your cooldowns when you hit so the thing about the right click versus the left click is or sorry the right click versus the f ability the f ability will lock you into your cooldown longer that's the slamming the like jump slam essentially or the ability that's supposed to be used with the jump slam versus the one that just slams with the right click so you got to be careful about being exposed into multiple enemies and giving them time to know you're there it's a little bit like i said with doomfist when you punch and uppercut somebody if the teammates knew you were there beforehand, you're just going to die in the air. So you don't want to be approaching from the front. It takes extra spam frequently. Um, but this does go to show how much damage you can do to a Barbatos here. Or sorry, Sazabi. This is the charge slam ability. That's 600 damage right there. 900 damage total with the hit. And someone else did some damage to him. Using cover like this is really good. You always want to be going like through cover to cover to cover to cover. You don't want to be in the open, especially on a close range character like Barbatos. Cover and being on cover gives you extra reduction to damage just because people won't hit you as often because they won't be able to see you. And it also lets people not know where you are. Um, nice, quick, snappy decision. Barbatos pairs very well with a character like Sazabi because you can dive together, but also because Sazabi will give you information about where the enemy is with its enemy search. So you can directly see and use that to um, use your engagements with. So it's very good to have those together. But good usage of covering here. If you don't know what to do on Barbatos, get to cover. You have a bunch of dashes. They recharge so quickly. 
Um, you don't want to waste them, of course, but it's it's OK to use a dash or two to get to cover. And safety. Back up to the high ground. This is excellent. High ground gives you the position to decide when you want to take the fight. That's you back up. Um, it's extremely safe. And considering in this position that considering the position is the C point here, there's no reason to be chasing anything. I know they wanted to get I know they probably want to go out and kill things, but um, they didn't miss to come here. So the best thing to do is to play up on this high ground and consider consider flanking or just wait till they come in and force their their main line to push forward too far and then go and hit some heavy slams onto their back line and absolutely destroy them. This is a little what I'm talking about, really uh, just a solid example of. If you want to, if you're playing here and you happen to be here, which you should probably already be in a better position, um, one that's on the flank, ideally on the high ground so you can drop onto somebody and hit them and they won't know you're there. Um, but if you're in this position, you want to dash with cover, runs right in the open, that's very poor, should be on the cover and you really don't want to be engaging to multiple people like this. As you can see, I don't even think you properly hit this Ozzy with this. The the ranges to hit things are pretty low, to be honest. Um, it looks like the gun tank was stunned down here, but it didn't seem to do like any damage. And when you come right here, the Sazabi just took damage now from this person on the far right side. So I don't think I don't think our Barbatos did any damage really. In those circumstances, it would probably be better just to swing. The hitbox on the swing is kind of small, to be honest. So you have to be getting really good positioning. Um, or my micro positioning to get your distance perfect, but um, it does multiple damage to it does damage to cleave through multiple people. And this one does too. It's just the hitbox is really small. Make sure to check out this playlist with mobile suit guides for Gundam Evolution. There's plenty covered here, including their strengths and weaknesses, full rundowns on the abilities, how to play them, and when to play them. So make sure you check that out. And I appreciate you guys watching this.